We've already got some information about the new design on the Galaxy S11 phones and we may have just seen our first look at the type of cutout they'll be using on those devices. So according to the latest leaks, we are gonna see some big design changes in the S11 phones. According to EV leaks, every single S11 phone is going to get bigger, much bigger. The phones will be getting a 20 by nine aspect ratio and also growing in size. The S11e will be changing the most, getting rid of the flat screen and changing to a curved display that will bring it in line with the design we see in its bigger brothers. A big question now is is what exactly are Samsung going to do with the cutout display? And we may have just got some answers to that question by seeing what another brand has just released in China. The S10 series had a cutout on the top right hand side of the screen, a single cutout for the smaller phones and a dual cutout for the bigger phones. As the back camera setup of the S10 series was in the middle, it makes sense that the front camera was on the top right hand side. There usually just isn't enough space to fit both the back camera setup and the selfie camera in the same position. The Note 10 series moved the cutout to the center and that was made possible because the back camera setup was to the side of the device. So what about the S11 phones? Well, according to Ice Universe, the cutout on these phones is going to be moved from the right hand side to the center. If he is correct, that means there's a good chance that the camera system on the S11 phones will be moved from the center to one of the sides. And thanks to a smartphone that was released yesterday in China, we may have got some confirmation on that design change. Vivo yesterday announced the Vivo S5. In itself an unremarkable device, but it gives us a sneak peek at what the design on the screen of the S11 phones will look like. As of right now, this is the smallest cutout for a front camera on any smartphone. Smaller than the S10 phones, and even smaller than the Galaxy Note 10 series phones. What's important is that the display is indeed supplied by Samsung Display. Compared to the Galaxy Note phones, the cutout is significantly smaller. And considering third-party brands are using the cutout on the top right-hand side, and in the case of the OnePlus 8 leaked renders on the top left-hand side, you would think that Samsung are going to keep the center-mounted cutout for themselves. So how about the Galaxy S11 series? Well, of course, the front selfie camera used on those phones is going to be different to what we see on the Vivo S5. But considering you know the display is made by Samsung Display, we can see that the cutout technology is making smaller and smaller cutouts on the screen. And that will also filter down to the flagship models when they're released. So it seems like Samsung were right all along and the cutout is indeed the way to go on these OLED displays. The cutout will become smaller and smaller until eventually it is indeed placed under the screen so we can't see it at all. As we know, Samsung are already working on under display technology. The end goal is to have the entire camera system completely placed under the screen so you can't see it at all. Xiaomi and Oppo are also working on this technology. The technology does already exist, but it's just a matter of perfecting it and being able to manufacture it at scale. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and everything to do with Samsung. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.